Dear students, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the last lecture, I shared with you how to find poles and zeros from a transfer function using MATLAB. Now, in this lecture, I will show you how you can plot poles and zeros of a transfer function in MATLAB. So for that, you have to just remember one code that is the PZ map. PZ means pole zero map. So you have to remember that PZ map in bracket n comma d. So where n is the coefficient of the numerator of the transfer function and d is the coefficient of the denominator of the transfer functions. So let's take one example. So here we consider the transfer function that having the numerator as numerator coefficient is 1, 2, 5, 6 and the denominator coefficient is 3, 4, 8, 9 and 10. And then we use the command that is the pz map in bracket in comma d. Now we are directly going to the MATLAB. So just we have to write the numerator coefficient. So n equal to, you already know how you can write. So the coefficient are 1, 2, 5 and 6. Now I am writing the denominator coefficient that is 3, 4, 8, 9 and 10. Okay. So here you can see. So and just you have to write PZ PZ M map in bracket in comma d okay so so from uh, from the transfer function sorry uh, from the coefficient of the numerator numerator you can see so numerator co uh, numerator is the third order system and the denominator is the fourth order system so there will be the number of poles will be the four and the number of zeros will be the three okay now running the program so here so here you can see this is the pole zero map of this transfer function. So here you can see generally when we are representing the pole we generally used in the cross sign and for the zeros we generally used the circle. So here you can see so I already told you that the numerator is the third order system so poles will be uh, sorry zeros will be the total number of zeros will be the three. So here you can see one two and three so two po uh, two zeros are the complex and one is the normal and now coming to the zero uh, sorry pole so i already told you this is the fourth order system so there is total number of poles are four so one two three four so these are the complex poles okay now taking one more example then it will be the very very clear for you so just I am changing the numerator. So now I am taking the numerator as 2s cube, 5 square, 3s and 6 plus 6. And the denominator I am taking as s cube, 6 a square plus 11s plus 6. And the rest will be the same. So it will the command will be the pz map in bracket n comma d. d. So now I am running the program. So here you can see all. So here you can see this is the poles one, two, and the three poles. So three poles are the real poles. One is the real zero, and two are the complex pole. So just you have to remember one command that is the PZ map. Then you can easily find the pole zero map in the MATLAB environment. Thank you.